Everyone give a big round of applause to our West Craven High School teachers and faculty. Congratulations again to Mr. and Mrs. Han Barrier. They are retiring this year. This is their last graduation walk and sitting on the field with the students. Also up here in the sound booth, we have Mr. Pat Wynn, who is also retiring. So give him a round of applause. He's up here helping us with all the tech stuff. So congratulations to our West Craven High School retirees this year. Again, we ask that all guests be seated in the bleachers by 8.20, that's three minutes from now, and remain seated until after the graduates have exited. If your loved one, any loved ones couldn't make it today, tell them they can live stream today's ceremony on West Craven High's YouTube page.
Just a reminder, we ask that all guests remain seated until after the graduates have exited in order to respect all guests of the graduating class of 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the presentation of our colors and the class of
please remain standing for the playing of our national anthem. You may be seated. Good morning, I am Aya Hageb, West Craven High School School Student Body President. On behalf of the West Craven High School 2023 graduating class, I would like to welcome our parents, family, friends, and community members to this year's commencement ceremony. We offer a special welcome to our guests from the Board of Education and Superintendent's Cabinet, Craven County Student Su Superintendent Dr. Wendy Miller, our Assistant Superintendent of Operations, Mr. Stacy Lee, and Director of Secondary Education, Dr. Chawana Sellers, and our Board of Education's Chairman, Mr. Brent Manning, Board of Education's Vice Chairman, Mr. Scott Murphy. In addition to our educational leaders, we would like to welcome and recognize Commissioner Mr. Jason Jones, Ta Town Cleric of Cove City, Lydia P. Monette, Mayor of Dover, Mr. Williams Mitchell, and Mayor of Vanceboro, Mr. Chad Braxton. Good morning, class of 2023. I'm your senior class president, Leah Bivens. I am incredibly honored to speak on behalf of the class sitting before me. I would like to thank God, most importantly, my family and, friend, my family and friends for believing in me and giving me this opportunity. To say I am proud to walk across the stage with you all would be an understatement. I am beyond grateful for the bonds I have built with you all and the times we have spent throughout the last 12 years. I wouldn't say getting to this point was easy, easy however we persevered and continue to strive towards our goals this is just one step to many on our journey to success i can't say hardship won't come or that you'll get everything you want in life right away however this is just however remember each stop is fuel for you to keep moving forward next remember tomorrow isn't promised so when you do live life to the fullest live with no regrets and most importantly live with Gratitude, faith, and courage. Show gratitude in everything you do. Have faith in God to continue on the path he has chosen for you. And have courage to get up every time you fall. Lastly, some words I would like to leave with you come from Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Thank you and congratulations, class of 2023.
The 2022-2023 West Craven High School Salutatorian is an active member of West Craven High School and her community. During her years at West Craven High School, she's been a member of the volleyball team and the Future Farmers of America. She is also a member of the National Honor Society. She's received the Principal's Award and is a member of Craven County's all academic team, earning straight A's during her high school career. She received the Carolina East Auxiliary Grant, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Scholarship, and institutional grants and scholarships from the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill. She's an active volunteer at Vanceboro Public Library and within the Vanceboro community. Her weighted GPA is 4.5. She will be attending the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill to pursue an undergraduate degree in psychology. After she graduates from college, she plans to pursue a career in psychology. At this time, I asked the, her mother, Sheila Raines, father, John Raines Jr., brother, John Raines III, grandmother, Vera Raines, grandfather, John Raines Sr., and grandfather, Michael Singleton, to please stand as I introduce this year's salutatorian. Please join me in congratulating Summer Raines on her achievement. Good morning, friends, family, administrators, and of course, my fellow graduates. Today, we are celebrating the graduating class of 2023 after 13 long years of school. While this ceremony marks the beginning of our adulthood and future, we should all take a step back and reminisce on the events and people who have helped us come this far. When we all started high school, we each had ideas of how fun and wild our four years at West Craven would go. Unfortunately, we were surprised by the pandemic, COVID-19, which took away all our experiences and normalcy of our first three years of high school. Not being in school took a lot of the bonds that we should have had out as a class. The Friday night football games, celebrations, and even just being in a classroom together were all stripped from us. This year, however, we were blessed to end our high school career with the incredible experiences of our dreams. Our class was able to have a full normal school year where we bonded through the traditions of senior breakfast, Friday night lights, and of course the senior walkthrough to all of our previous schools. Even though we have had a lucky year this year, we as a class faced heartbreak through the passing of our classmate. Bobby Gatto was the heart of the class of 2023 and put a smile on the faces of everybody he encountered. Through the tragedy of our class, we supported each other and made sure Bobby's memory would not be lost. I want to take a few minutes to thank the important peoples in our lives. First, thank you to all the teachers and administrators who gave us the knowledge and ability to grow as a person and to achieve the future we dreamed of. Next, thank you to all the families and friends who gave us the unconditional love and support to get to where we are today. Lastly, I wanna thank the people in my life who allowed me to be on the stage today. Thank you to my parents, brother, and my grandparents for believing in me and giving me the motivation to set forth and accomplish my dreams. The people you surround yourself with have an enormous impact on the quality of your life. With that in mind, I am entirely grateful for every friend that I have made and have lost along my journey. I know a lot of people will say what is in the past stays in the past, but the past is what shaped each and every one of us to who we are today. Our class of 2023 was faced with many challenges but we overcame those challenges head on by showing compassion and resilience. I will leave this speech with a quote. Even the mightiest warriors experience fears. What makes them a true war warrior is the courage that they possess to overcome their fears. Thank you. The 2022-23 valedictorian is an active member of the National Honor Society, Future Farmers of America, Book Club, and Battle of the Books. She is also a member of the All Academic Team. In her junior year of high school, she was selected as the Chief Marshal. 
She has a weighted GPA of 4.64. Since the age of six, she has played softball on traveling teams at West Craven Middle and West Craven High Schools. At the age of seven, she started taking an interest in dancing. In her free time, she is actively involved in her church, where she is responsible for the church pantry, organizes and distributes food to those in need, and participates in the SAFE organization. She currently works at the YMCA in the after school and summer programs. At this time, I would like to recognize her parents, Michael and Kristen Coons, her brothers, Michael and Joshua, her sisters, Grace and Alina, her niece, Lee, Lee, uh, Lindley, and nephew, Closen. Please stand and join in congratulation, congr congratulating Sarah Michelle Coons as this year's valedictorian. Good morning and congratulations, West Craven's class of 2023. Today is the first day of the rest of your lives. As the school year comes to a close, I would like to thank all the faculty and staff who have dedicated their time and patience to help us be the most successful versions of ourselves. I would also like to thank our families, friends, and mentors for their guidance and support. I know I would not be here today without my family. I would like to take a moment to thank God and everything he does, my mom and dad who have worked tirelessly to provide for me and my siblings, my grandparents who spoil me endlessly, and my brothers and sisters who have always helped me when I needed them. I love you all. After today, we are going to begin a new journey, whether that is going to college, the military, the workforce, or even if we are still undecided. We are turning the page to an exciting new chapter. The future lies in our hands. Throughout our lives, we have all learned valuable lessons. And today, I would like to share with you a lesson that is pertinent to our future. We may not know what tomorrow will bring, but instead of being afraid, we should take charge. It is not in the stars to hold our destiny, but in ourselves. This line was written by William Shakespeare in his play, Julius Caesar. He is saying that we are responsible for our actions. It is not up to fate to decide how we live. Every decision we make is our own. We must take charge. It is not up to anyone else. Dr. Seuss in his riddle style phrase says you have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself in any direction you choose. We can make our own path. The future is ours. We should go where we are called and do what we want to do. Sitting here today proves that we are more than capable. For many years, I have played softball and nothing has touched me more than my dad's softball analogy. When you are at the plate and have two strikes, you better swing at anything close. During one at bat, I came back to the dugout after striking out by not swinging at a close pitch. My dad asked why I did not swing, and I told him it wasn't a strike, that umpire's crazy. Dad then said, you did not give yourself a chance. You cannot let it fall into the umpire's hands. After a while, I realized that 
Dad wasn't talking about softball. He was talking about life. You cannot let your life be determined by someone else. Give yourself a chance, and even if you strike out, just know that you tried and ended it on your own terms. As you walk across the stage today, I hope that you are ready to embrace the future for whatever may come your way. I wish you the best and want you to continue working hard. Growing up with you all has been one of the most rewarding experiences in my life. I would like to end with one last quote, and it is true for every single one of you. God can bring peace to your past, purpose to your present, and hope to your future. John chapter 14, verse 27. Thank you. Class of 2023, y'all all right? Y'all good? Y'all know what time it is, right? Y'all know it's showtime, right? Parents, family, and community, it's showtime. Eagle Nation, it's showtime. It's that time, y'all. Today is about you and your amazing accomplishments. Everyone in this stadium right here is here to celebrate you. Before I get to the main event, I would like to give you one final charge to rise above. One of my mentors taught me that in life, you often find yourself in one of three positions. You're either going through a storm, coming out of a storm, or going into a storm. The key is disciplining yourself to define the storm and not allow it to define you. You see, it is oftentimes your response in the challenges that determine your outcome. What will you do when you don't get that promotion that you wanted? How would you respond? What is your response when three different of your professors require you to turn in a 10 page paper in a couple of months? Do you give up on your dream or goal when you aren't approved for that business loan or do you find another way? How do you handle opposition? You see, storms are not always a bad thing. Not all storms come to disrupt your life. Most storms come to clear your path for your next level of greatness. We often feel that storms were sent to destroy us, but they were actually causing us to tap in that, into that next level of greatness and victory. You were all created for greatness. And as you walk into that greatness, I charge you to never downgrade your dreams to match your current reality but rather upgrade your commitment, your belief, in your pursuit of your vision. Whatever is your storm, don't lose sight of who you are, and most importantly, whose you are. You are an eagle. For eagles, storms are only stepping stones to go into another level. Eagles always use a storm to be greater. Class of 2023, you have done that over the last four years and throughout your entire life. And now you are here today. Today, you step into your future and your pathway to destiny. As we get ready to bring you up, I want you to remember this day for the rest of your life. Remember it as a monument that whenever you face trials and tribulations or whenever something don't go quite the plan, don't, don't change your goal. Just adjust your plan, because each and every one of you will call to do great things, and I speak that over you today. At this time, it is truly game time. I would like to ask the Board of Education members, Mr. Brent, Pastor Brent Menon and Pastor Scott Murphy, to come forth to assist 
with the awarding of diplomas. As the first row stands and proceeds to the stage, I would like to ask all family members and community members that while this is a very joyous occasion, we do ask that you hold your applause until the end. We will give a big grand applause for each and every graduate today, uh, but we want to ensure that everyone hears their name called appropriately. If the first row will please stand and proceed to the stage. It sound like it sound like they're ready. Class of 2023, y'all ready? Y'all sure? I don't know. I need to knock out some more push-ups or something. We ready? All right, let's get it then. Promise, Faith, Auburn. Tina, Marissa, Alexis Baggett. Melanie, Esther, Biza, Nieto. Ashton, Drake, Bachelor. Taylor, Hardy, Batten. Walker, Morris, Bill. <laughs> Maggie, Carolyn, Bircher. <laughs> Leah, Amari, Nicole Bivens. <laughs> Emily, Rose, Bobo. Demaya, Katari, Bradley. Piper, Marie, Dyer, Brenton. Wesley, Avery, Lawrence, Bree Miller. Jayshon, Maurice Brimmer. Courtney, Sarita Brown. Genevieve, Miriam Brown. Bianca Shanti Bryant. Tamar Amani Janae Bryant. Ethan Thomas Buckner. Cole Houghton Buck. <laughs> Bailey Ann Butler. <laughs> Yahira Sierra. <laughs> Damaris Treshawn Kennedy. John Albert Capen. Floor Antoinette Celeste Valenzuela.
Aaliyah, Marie, Christy. Maserat, Contreras, Cruz. Sarah, Michelle, Coombs. Caleb, Almond, Cop. Milani, Aline, Corbett. Bria, Elise, Coward. Jalen, Kiara, Coward. Jeremy, Earl, Coward. Emily Cruz Ramirez. Marquel Amari Davis. Tristan Antonio Dalton. Caleb Macon Decker. Steven Jacob Durr. Ariana Yasmin Dove. Jared Corbett Drake. And Xavier Bryce Edwards. Hannah Bree Erdman. Caleb Lee Eubanks. Evelyn Celeste Force. Richard Joseph Franklin. Gazelle, Jasmine, Garcia, Celis. Unique, Ashana, Gardner. Jamie, Ray, Gaskins. Bobby Michael Gatto. Sebastian Gaviar. Diamond Marie Gaylor. Dariella German Alvarez. Amira Unique Gilliam. Christian Malik Godet.
Christiana Sanit Gaudet. Ricardo Aaron Gomez Rios. Annie Valdez Gonzalez. Selena Gonzalez Millan. Anaya Trinell Green. Tatiana Shante Green. Emily Grace Hacker. Aya Adele Haji. Kiesa Danae Hamilton. Makai Javion Hargett. Miranda Gail Hargett. Emma Joanne Harrell. Ashley Hernandez Gomez. <laughs> Nina Lee Hill Brown. <laughs> Raymond John Holloman. Jenna Marie Houghton. Brayden Connor Hopkins. Tyler Bryce Hughes. Nathan Ryan Ipok. Aviana Christina Johnson Gamble. Aaliyah Ryan Jones. Clarissa Lynn Jones. Jasmine Michelle Jones. Luther, Luther Allen Jones. Darnell Alexander Kearns. Kaylee Rianne Kirk. Harmony Ajene Mackett. Christina Don Coots. Woo! 
Rosalind Lopez Gomez. Braden LeBron Manley. Tristan Roland Matthias. <laughs> Scholar Stephen McLam. Devin Odell McDaniel. Devin Maurice Miles. Antoine Jamal Moore. Tristan DeAndre Moore. Tajan Adwell Moore. Ethan David Morris. Leslie Munoz Arcia. Josie Lachey Nelson. Stephen Ladante Nelson. Jasmine Toriana Nikki. <laughs> Shaklina Sane Nobles. Thomas Chase Norville. Giovanni Nunez Horatio Matthew Glenn Oblander <laughs> Dominic Michael Onero Jr. Jose Alfredo Osario. <laughs> Alexander Gerardo Palmer. <laughs> Chloe Ann Pinicelli. <laughs> Mason Thomas. Paxson. <laughs> Jennifer Pedroza. <laughs> Jimmy Pedroza. <laughs> Isaiah Alonza. Lee Pelham. Dana Lynn Perez. Kirsten Alexa Peritsky.
Landon Robert Plunkett. Summer Lee Reigns. Esmeralda Ramirez. Madeja Tashiana Jane Raspberry. Addison Dwayne Riggs. Mackenzie Shannon Riggs. Zania Marie Robinson. William Charles Roberts. Trin Rotcham. Taylor Grace Rogers. Lasana Sherell Ross. Emma Kaylee Rowe. Ricardo Salazar Moreno. Juan Sebastian Salcedo. David Ryan Scott. Bree Elizabeth Slayball. Andrew Keith Smaldridge. Davy Devante Smith. Joshua Nathaniel Smith. Marilyn Catherine St. Clair. Kalia Nicole Stilly. Tyrone Antoine Cherokee Stokes. Jameson Seth Sutton. Matthew Lee Sutton. Emma Grace Taylor. Jada Khalees Tillett. Caitlin Page Timmons.
Jordan, Leon, Tola. Josiah, Jadon, Tripp. Jocelyn, Elizabeth, Tudor. Kristen Elizabeth Walls. Ash Lily Caroline Weber. Wilson Lee Weber. Holly Ann Magdalene Weatherton. River Nicole Whaley. Josiah Janelle White. Ashanti, Sierra, with it. Tadeja, Tawana, Will. Chance, Riley, Wiggins. But certainly not least, Miracle Ariel If we could, please give the clap for. Right, we in the fourth quarter. With the power bestowed upon me on behalf of the Craven County Board of Education, you are now officially declared a graduate of West Craven High School, Eagle. Here is your class, senior class president, Leah Bivens.
Our tassels are red, white, and blue. The red stands for power. It draws recognition like no other color. The white is for balance we strive to maintain. And the blue represents patience and understanding. Because in a world where we could be anything, please choose to be kind. The colors are gathered with the gold 23 to signify the bond of class of 2023. And now, to symbolize our transition from high school to our futures, please join me in our tassel, in turning our tassels from left to right. Congratulations, Eagles. Y'all better not be happy. Please stand and remain at your seats as the class of 2023 and our faculty and staff exit the field.